In this video, I'll discuss how to use the line and point extrusion features in SAP 2000. I'm going to create this model using SAP 2000's extrusion features, so let's get started. The extrusion feature command is used to sweep selective objects through space to create new objects of higher dimension or to convert lines to areas, areas to solids, with the same thickness as the original line or area object. The process of extrusion increases the dimensional space of an existing object by one. In other words, a line object are of one dimension that can be generated from a dimensionless object or a point object. So we're gonna create a point into a line, a line into an area, and you also have the ability to create a solid from an area object. So let's get started. We're gonna select this truss and I'm gonna replicate it. We'll put this in 3D view and I'll go to edit, replicate. I'm gonna replicate this in increments in the DY direction uh, 200 inches and we'll do it 24 times. So now you can see we have this roof truss of 24 separate trusses essentially. So they're not connected. So using the extrusion features, you can actually connect all of these trusses to create a complete roof truss. So if we go back to the XZ view, first thing we're gonna do is actually select all of the point objects from the top cords. And we're gonna extrude these points into line objects. To do that, we'll first select all the points. We'll go to edit, extrude, extrude points to frames. You can see all the other options that are available to the user as well. In the extrude points to lines form, you can see we have the ability to extrude linearly, radially, which we'll do here in the next model, and also advanced, which where you can create your own path. So in this case, you have the ability to select the property for the added object. In this case, it's just a default section we're gonna extrude. And we'll follow the same increment data as I used for replicating the truss just before this. 200 inches, 24 times. We'll click OK first. And we'll click on 3D. And now you can see those point objects, if I zoom in, have been extruded into lines connecting these trusses. We can do the same thing for area objects. So if we go back to the XZ view, this time I'm going to select the line objects on the top cords of this truss. 10 frames have been selected. We'll go back to the 3D view and then back to the edit extrude but this time we're gonna select extrude lines to areas. This is the property that will be extruded. Increment data is gonna be the same, 200 inches, 24 times. And if we click okay, you can see now the line object has now been extruded to area objects. So now this roof truss is complete. Let's take a look at one more option. Here we have just a simple line object that we're going to convert to areas, but this time let's use the radial option. So if I select this line element, we'll go to edit, extrude, to extrude lines to areas. But this time, if we select the radial option, you can rotate about a specific axis. We're gonna rotate about a specific point. This time it's going to be the origin and you set the increment data. The angle is going to be 10 degrees. We'll do this 18 times. And also you can use a total rise. So if I click OK, you can see you have the ability to extrude not only linearly, but radially as well. 